Hello everyone and welcome to the Blue Blouse channel. Now today's video is gonna be very different. You're wondering why am I appearing on camera with my hair this tangled and this knotted. Well guess what it's for a very good reason. I'm going to show you how I melt these tangles away without me actually having to sit down and finger detangle. There will be some detangling involved but not this long process so what I'm gonna do is just wash my hair. When I wash my hair to get rid of rid of these tangles it's in the preparation of how I do it. Now there are two ways in which I do it. If I'm feeling really lazy I use a bottle of shampoo right and if I feel like getting a bunch of products I use a bottle of shampoo I get some honey I get some castor oil if you see my J. Ryan Nephew bottle you know exactly how I got this castor oil right mixing bowl and my spatula I don't have a shower cap on hand but I'm sure it's somewhere around but when I use the conditioner alone what I do with it is I actually put it in my hair before I shampoo my hair. I went into Fantana with my happy go lucky self and bought it. I didn't so much like this for my hair in terms of conditioning it but it has very good slips. I wouldn't use this little teeny teeny amount. My hair is tangled so I'll be using a lot. Maybe like twice this amount and I just get to putting it in my hair just like that. Now the next step I would do is just put on my steam cap or shower cap or if you have a ladder bag <laughs> if you have a ladder bag or a plastic bag a plastic grocery bag just put it on your hair and 20 minutes should do the trick. As you can see my hair is actually starting to respond to that already and do you see that? Just by me pulling alone you can see that the, the tangles are beginning to melt. Look at this. I have a tangle right through here. Instead of actually raking through a comb, you can see that it's going to finish knotting at the end. What I do, I just pull, 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 pull. I pull just like so. And you can see the hair that came out, right? I've caught up my hair all week in one. And I went to bed with my hair not plaited and this is the result. As a matter of fact, this thing doesn't have any measurement. I just pour. I have a lot of hair. I just mix what I want, mix what I feel like and that's it. Ooh, <laughs> this was in the refrigerator. Yes, we have honey in the bowl now. <laughs> the next thing I put in is my castor oil. And I put about that much in there. So the ratio is one to one. Do you like what you see? <laughs> I do. Alright, so if I didn't have the castor oil in at all, I would have used molasses. Or I just combine all three and put it in my hair. And we have something looking like this. The stickier the better because you're going to want a lot of slip there. The conditioner is already in my hair so I won't put it in the bowl. <laughs> Let me put it in there for you in case you see I didn't show you anything. Alright so I just put a little bit of conditioner in there not much maybe like a quarter tablespoon. Just the honey, the molasses and the castor oil. You don't, have, you don't even have to use castor oil you can use olive oil or any oil that you choose but I like castor oil because my hair is fine but is very dense so it just soaks up everything to I don't even think this reach a tablespoon this is the tablespoon that I have showing you right here with the mixture it's not gonna cut it I'm gonna actually have to mix three th three times this amount here you go Trust me, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look appealing, but I guarantee you it does something. Now if your hair is a little bit looser than mine, you can go ahead and use this small amount. And I don't want 
any ants to draw me away. My shower cap has taken a vacation and decided to mind its own business. Do I'm gonna mind my own business too and use a scandal bag, ladder bag, plastic bag, any bag, just as long as it, it's plastic. So what I'm gonna do, I'll twist it and make a knot. You see if you can get two of these on your head or two shower caps, it will do an even better job. If you also have a hooded dryer, you can go ahead and sit under it. Or if you have any other contraption that applies heat to the head, go ahead and use it. I'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes and then I'll wash it out. Now, let me address the elephant in the room. Some people may ask me, why did you decide to name your channel Blue Blows? <laughs> I kind of think it's obvious. I'm just kidding. When I proceeded to do my first video, the hair video with the bun with bangs, I was putting up this background and I said, what am I going to wear? Blue is a color that would... I don't even remember. What did I learn at school? Blue is a color that would contrast with the yellow pigment that it has. I know it looks brown on camera, but I promise you it's a mixture of red and a golden yellow, right? And I was struggling with the channel name for quite a while, for about two months. I just wanted something fun. It eventually became an inside joke when I said I'll have to wear a blue blouse and I said, and you know what? I'm just gonna wear a blue blouse for every video as long as I can. If all goes well, I will be always in a blue blouse. I cannot afford to be changing clothes every video. So if you see the same blue blouse 10 times, just know I told you the 20 minutes was up. I actually kept it a little bit longer than that. And I've started the shampoo process. I don't want to put any more tangles in it, but I'm gonna show you the method that I do. I actually got a towel, exhibit A, which I don't care that much about. When you're handling so many things that are of this color, which is brown, you have to be very careful. I lift up the root a little bit and just place the shampoo like that. Stretch the hair, lift it up and do like that. And you can see the motion that I'm doing. I'm not doing this. If I should do this, I would be creating more tangles. You see that already? More tangles. You don't want to do that. And if I want to get underneath to get my scalp, I just do this. Push my fingers at the root and just do like this. And don't worry, I'm not harming myself. I'm actually putting the pads of my finger down flat. So it's flat like this and not down like this. You can actually angle your finger down but not, not scratching. You don't want to scratch at all. It's fairly simple, it's just down to technique. I'm gonna wash this right out and come back. If you are still here, thank you for staying tuned to the Blue Blouse channel. And you can see I'm out of breath already because this is a lot of vigorous work, you know? I'm using the Suave Naturals today, as well as my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. What a long name. It has avocado and Australian jojoba in it and it's paraben free if you care about that. It seems as, as if it's about to be finished. I'm gonna have to go to my one place that has it, Fontana. Alright, this is what I was able to get out of it. So, when I want to deep condition my hair without sitting for 40 minutes, I use the Azimoise, the three minute miracle one. This is actually a deep conditioner that works in three minutes. All right, as you can see, whenever I am applying product, I stretch the hair. I'm not ever doing circular motions because that would just spell a recipe for disaster. Random rope twist. You can see my hair is like a sponge or a spring. Stretched out and then just went back. That is a good sign by the way. I'm going to show you a realistic amount of conditioner that I use for my whole head. This is a palm full of conditioner. And let me tell you something. I don't stop there. 
Do you see how heavy that is sitting? Wait, you see that I put conditioner in my hair and where did it go? All the way to the ends. So that small amount of conditioner that not going to do anything. Especially if I tangled here. Let me tell you something about my conditioners. My conditioners run out twice as much as my shampoo. When it comes to conditioner, I use as much as I can. As much as my hair will hold because I want that slip. I have my trusty wide tooth comb here. If you have another comb, smaller than this but not a rat tail comb, you can use it as well. A paddle brush or any form of Denman brush. The smaller the comb, the smaller the section. If you are going to use a bigger comb, like I am, you can go bigger. So the first thing I do is actually smooth the hair. Smooth. You can see how much product I have on my ears. Ridiculous. So what I do, I stretch it out and I break all the natural hair rules so I go from top to bottom. And you can see that I'm not meeting upon any snag at all. The reason why I broke the natural hair rule is because I stretched out my hair. If I stretch my hair, I have no tangles to meet upon. So that just cut my detangling time in half. I twist up the section and I twist my strands. I have, whenever I twist my hair, I don't twist it loosely. I have the, sh the shafts closely together as possible. I don't want any loose twist in my hair because that is just going to pull out underneath the shower when I actually wash out my hair. I part my hair where it wants to be parted. If it gives me resistance, I either take it with me or leave it over the unsectioned part. I pull at my roots and if I have a little more tangles than the section, I follow with this finger and then I pull at the ends of my hair just like that. Do you know the motion that you use with the chase met method to flat iron your hair? It would be something like that. I'm actually chasing this hand with this hand. So I'm holding my hair flat and tight. And I'm just pulling at my hair to actually take the tangles out there. For me, I start at my root. Alright, this is the only instance in which I start at the bottom. So if I put the comb through my hair and it's stuck, then I start from the bottom and guess what I actually stretch it some more before I start from the bottom again so here was the part I, that I was stuck I'm gonna go a little bit below that and carry my hair if I'm stuck I go from top again you can see there's some loose hair there I go right below it and pull until I'm stuck again and then I go above I comb and I stop where it is stuck. I don't go past. If I go past the snags right here, now that is the time I would be damaging my hair. So as I showed you before, when I reach here, I just use my hands and I stretch my ends out. Do you see how much product is in my hair? That's a whole lot. And I go below the snags, pull. Below the snags, pull until I get what I want. And as you can see, there is actually hair in the comb, so something is coming out. What do you see that I did differently from the wider natural hair community? There's more than one way to skin a cat. If you can see the rationale and it's not damaging your hair, go ahead and do it. I don't practice starting from the ends all the time because it's actually more work to start from the ends with my hair because most of the tangles are down here. So if I start combing at the ends it's just gonna take so long and I don't have the time so I'm gonna finish my hair and put a steam cap over it for another 15 minutes and then I wash my hair out and it's a different blue blouse can you tell or I shouldn't have announced it first I don't know but either way I have gone through the process let me recap what I did already I did a steam with some honey castor oil I don't remember what I used now honey I use some castor oil, I use some conditioner and I let it steam on my hair for 15-20 minutes then I took that off and I went ahead and I shampooed my hair 
using a rubbing motion with the balls of my fingers, never circular motions. Then I washed that out. Then I detangled with some conditioner in my hair. Gloves and gloves of it is what I use. And now we are here where everything has been done and as evidenced by these twists going north, south, east and west you can see that I actually kept the twists in my hair so that is another way how I keep my hair detangled when I'm washing it this is not my wash day routine it's actually longer than this I am just detangling my hair and retwisting my hair at the root as you can see I kept the twists in from rinsing my hair, rinsing the conditioner out of my hair. I still keep that stretching motion so that the comb can go through it. It's basically stretch and comb, stretch and comb. And look how easily the comb goes through my hair. For my drying process, for me to stretch my hair or plait out my hair, Caribbean people, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave it for a few hours. And then I proceed to plait my hair and then I plait my hair again but that is another video in itself what is a detangling video without me showing you how much hair I actually pulled out my head there we go I don't like hair but I actually save this to show you this is not a lot and my hair wasn't combed out for about maybe a week and a half if you have made it this far to the end of the video, I hope you learned a lot of information and thank you for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It's bye from the Blue Blouse Channel.